Hey guys, this is Emmerich from Emmerich's Time Lapse, and I'm actually already in my car, ready to go shoot some time lapse in LA. But um, I'm doing this video a little differently where I don't know where I'm going. Usually, you know, you follow me, uh, I know where I'm going, I know what I'm gonna shoot. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on my phone really quickly and I'm gonna show you in like one minute, I can try to find something where to shoot from. First of all, I'm gonna go on Google Earth. So I'm opening Google Earth and what's great with Google Earth and if you zoom in on you know cities and stuff like this you can see like a 3D um, view of the city. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the, the shot I want. I always wanted to shoot something like this, this 110 freeway overpass um, that I shot from like a few times already but now I actually want it in my shots. I want the, sh the overpass and then I want downtown LA in the back. It's something that would be easy to shoot from you know a, uh, a drone, a drone that I'm gonna go tomorrow, get tomorrow actually. So you can see the overpass right there and downtown LA in the back. Okay, so this is the view I have right now. See, you can see the overpass right there. I usually shoot from there, but now I want something where I see the overpass and then downtown LA skyline in the back. So what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna start actually go backward like this on a straight line. And I actually found one spot, there you go, this is this spot right there. See, there's the road. And there's like an empty lot right there, but I went there like a couple days ago and there's fence all around So it doesn't work now I'm gonna go and then just go backward on a straight line and keep the shot. I want Like this it's all flat ground. So yeah, I mean I could go on the rooftop of this building, but <laughs> Okay, so we have like see there's like a little um, How do you call this like a hill right there, but is there like any opening from the road? It's all private properties, apparently. Okay, and then I'm gonna keep going backward and backward. Okay, there's some hills right there. It seems pretty interesting. Oh, look at this. There's like a trail. Would it be like a trail or something? Let's see if I can access this trail. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take the street view, and let's see what we have right there. Okay, well, there's a fence. Ugh. That sucks. Let's see down the road. Is there like any... There's no way to go there at all. It's like if I mean I could just walk there, but usually I, I, I don't like going in no, no trespassing sign, you know, time lapse it's not just one photo. So oh look at this guys. There you go, we can see downtown LA. So I mean it's perfect. Like I could set up right there, I guess. I didn't know we could see downtown LA actually from the road. That's perfect. So let's see what we have. There you go. So here it's a little hazy, but technically if my calculation is right, or right, uh, we should be able to see uh, the overpass right there. And I'm pretty sure with my 100 to 400 zooming in, like maybe three or 400 mil, um, it should be perfect. It should be like a nice shot. So there you go. See, in like three, four minutes, I found like a new spot. I kind of, you know, knew there was hills around, but I didn't know exactly where to shoot it from. And it's good because we found like something perfect from the road. What I'm gonna do right now, it's 5 p.m. Sunset is at 7 p.m. So it's perfect. I think it's only 20 minutes away from here. I'm in Burbank. This is South Pasadena. I actually have never shot time lapse from South Pasadena, from Pasadena at all. So it's gonna be like a nice, uh, it's gonna be like a nice shot. So I'm gonna go there and then obviously I'm gonna document the time lapse shoot. So let's go. tight spot this is the view yeah it's a nice view I have to find a parking though let's see where I can park uh, just the right of location it looks pretty good there's some awesome clouds so first I'm gonna eat some food because I'm hungry and then I'm gonna go shoot and set up everything all right so one quick advice when you shoot in like residential area like right now uh, be respectful um, two people living here. Don't park badly. Park where you can. If you have to walk a little bit, just walk a little bit. Be quiet and be nice to people and because they live here, just, you know, be respectful. I think that's um, easy. That's easy advice, but it actually makes a huge difference. Be respectful or people won't 
uh, you know, like photographers <laughs> anymore. Uh, but yeah, especially if it's a popular spot, but today is not a popular spot, so we should be fine. But you know, be quiet, park where you are allowed to park, and that's all, you know. All right, I have all my stuff, um, let's go. It's like a short walk, it's maybe like, I don't know, one minute. I have to be quick because there's some amazing clouds behind downtown and yeah, the view is exactly like I saw on Google Earth. And I actually love it because there's a lot of greens and palm trees and trees in the bottom of the images. And the skyline looks very different than anything I actually shot so far uh, in five, six years in shooting LA. It's very different angles, so it's pretty exciting actually. I just realized I could move my car like right there. There's no sign, which I did. You can park before, you can park after. And there's another sign here, you can park after. You can park two cars in here. It's perfect. Parking in LA, it's a big thing. But yeah, park responsibly. Don't park like shit. I'm serious, when you like, you know, work, uh, when you're shooting in residential area, you have to be nice of the neighborhood. It's not, it's not your place. Just using it for money. Also, I didn't tell you guys, but yes, we do th see the overpass and then downtown and in the back. It's exactly like Google Earth showed it. So it's perfect. It's like a, I did a straight line on Google Earth, so it's, it was exactly what I was looking for, and there's the perfect shot right there. It's how cool is that? No, I got I got really lucky for that. But see, sometimes if you know how how to look, where to look, um, just use Google Maps. Google Earth is the best for all of this. All right, so we are about 40 minutes before the sunset. I just started my day tonight. It's still a little bit windy. Let me look, uh, let me show you a little bit. So it's the same shots, um, just more zoomed in a little bit. The only thing is like, there's some clouds over there. So I feel like the sunset's not gonna be very nice. It's too cloudy, okay? <laughs> That's the only problem. It's still too cloudy toward the west. So it might not give us the best sunset ever, but uh, we'll see. There's actually some opening over there. The light might go through at sunset. We'll see. We'll see. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, a surprise. Alright guys, so the sunset is over, now we're gonna come back to some normal colors, something a little bluish, gray, gray kind of something I don't like, but you know, we can have pink sky forever, that would be great though. Uh, the thing is today, yeah, there is kind of, you know, wind, it's kind of windy, uh, I'm trying to see if the light is nice, it's kind of windy, so I'm actually changing more of my ISO and aperture first, and then um, I kind of try to get, uh, I mean, I have one eighth of a second, but it's still pretty good. It's slow, but not too slow for the shutter in order to not end up with blurry pictures. But the wind, I think the wind is coming down a little bit, so I should be fine changing the shutter speed again. Yeah, it's very blue gray now, but we have the city lights coming, so it's kind of nice. Okay, it's full night time now. I have my f dead nights, and well, I'm just gonna set up like another night time lapse probably. There's no wind anymore, so I think I can shoot at 400 mil easy. But anyway, yeah, it was, a, it was a nice sunset. It was a good day for a sunset. I'll show you, obviously, at the end of the video, but right now I'm gonna set up a night time-lapse, and uh, I think I'm just gonna go home after that. All right, guys. I have two day time-lapse, one day tonight, and one night time-lapse, so now I'm just gonna go home and edit all of this, so let's go.
guys, thank you so much for watching. And before we actually end this video real quick, I have something to tell you. I just published a 23 page guide, completely free, it's a free guide on how to get noticed as a time-lapse photographer. It's completely you know, full of information, my secrets on how to get your work seen by a lot of people out there more you know than just your friends and family because sometimes it's not easy and you know time-lapse photography it's still a you know very new art so i'm going to tell you everything you can do to maximize your chances to actually get a bigger following so it's a free guide you can click in the description i mean on the link in the description or the comments below Obviously, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna be uploading a video on Monday and on Friday now, so twice a week. And uh, yes, a lot of cool content coming soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.